Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always better than one. Look at this junk. Not everything here is going to be relevant. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Circumstantial. We're never gonna find it. It's a waste of time. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Smith & Wesson, serial S71893. Two rounds fired, and instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much.
You can drive. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. You drive. I need to the case notes. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One-of-a-kind murder weapon bought locally using the real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. And two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are full of it. Schroeder, apartment two. That was a very bad move, Schroeder. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. List of names and a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Weapon! 
weapons on the ground now. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance to- chance, copper. You come any closer? Go! Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. Get down! You're fucking open. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Wendell Bauer! No, LSPD! You can go screw yourselves. Why, you watch it! He's hiding in the alley! <laughs> Right there! Stop now or I will shoot! I won't tell you again, Wendell! Jesus, Dunn! Watch your fire! You don't want to do this, Wendell! Get down from there right now! Give it up, Wendell! Stay the hell away from me! You've got to be kidding! Well, you fucking ask for it! There's no way I'm going back inside! I've done my time! It's over, Bowers! You assholes already screwed me once! Give it up, Bowers! There's nowhere left to go! Bells. Come on then, pretty boy. Broad daylight. A crowded street. I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia.
FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. All right, all right, yes, it's a dead person. Uh, can I, can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. 
We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Gage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. You're behind the wheel. Don't you people have anything better to do? Officers, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Callu. Edgar Callu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Mr. Kalu. Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. You know the way. You can drive. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Kalu! Get back here! That cherry pie was dead. God damn! Get me up. Next. Too late, Kalu! <sighs> Two club sandwiches. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Richard. This town's kind of dangerous. Evan! You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. You got nothing, boy chick. You're gonna be laughed right out of court. I've just gotta keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you wanna keep making a schmuck of yourself. You followed Everett Gage rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me.
You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. left-wing leaning parasite you expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel you call me that you sit there and you call me those names you goddamn goy putt snatcher you and that stump gauge why did you do it mr kalu gauge he's in the chamber of commerce he's in with all those momsers he blocked every proposal i ever put forward kike this and kike that he's been trying to ruin my business for years <laughs> 